Welcome back to Mannequin Monday. I'm Manny. And I'm Cake. No, seriously. Welcome back to Make It Monday. Today we're making kinetic moons. Yeah, so if you want to make something cheap and fun, playful at home, you can do with your kids, it doesn't cost very much, this is the way to go. So, um, a lot of the ingredients you probably have. So we're going to start off with... A cup. We're going to start off with... One and three quarter cup of cornstarch, which a lot of people have. It's just a normal cooking ingredient, a thickening agent, we'll say. So we'll do that. One and three quarters cup, you said? One and three quarters cup. All right, well, he's measuring that out. And this, whoa! And this one, I have sand. We just we just went down to the beach and took some. So. But don't do that because that's illegal. <laughs> Is it really? No, I don't. I don't think it's illegal. I don't but this is one and a quarter cups of sand, beach sand. I'm sure you could use like colors. I mean, sand. if you want to pay twenty dollars for a little bag of sand, you could go do that. But yeah, and uh, you could probably use colored sand. You can use food coloring. Yeah. You could do all those things. We're just gonna straight up show you how to make it. Yeah, you ready? And this one, just water. This is half a cup of water and half a teaspoon of dish soap. So this is one. Okay. Boom. All right. You are getting more on you in the table than you are in the cup. A quarter. Quarter cup. It's one and three quarters. One and three quarters cup. Don't make me second guess myself. Judging by some of the choices you've made, maybe you should second guess myself. <laughs> <laughs> That is a perfect example of when those times you... <laughs> He deserved it. Wow. Oh, it's sinking! Sinking. <laughs> mix, mix, mix. Mix it! Alright, my fingers are white. <laughs> well, this is what it looks like after you've mixed it. Thoroughly with your hands or whatever. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. I've actually never played with moon sand before, but I've <laughs> seen it on video. So this is exactly what it's like. It's it's crumbly. It's crumbly like just regular sand that you would find on the beach. Like you just keep crumbling it until it just looks like regular sand. And then you can bunch it all together, and it stays together like like Play-Doh, almost. You know, like one piece. <laughs> and that's why they said it's like easy to pick up. It's not very messy because you can just pick everything up with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, this is really cool, though. I think it's cool. It would be cool. Can I have more? <laughs> you get none! Here. Cool. Kinetic I want, sand. I want you to make something. Anything. It's a goose! Oh, Jesus. That's actually really cool. It, like, stays together, like, just enough for you to form it, but nothing else. It's like, yeah. here, make something really cool, but you're never going to have proof of it. <laughs> you will be the only one to see it, because it'll fall apart before you can show something. I feel like you could use... Have you seen those eggs at the stores where they, like, hide, like, things in them? Yeah. And they call them fossils and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I feel like if you, like, went to one of those quarter machines... Mm -hmm. Put your 50 cents in there, got one of those cool little keychains or rings or something. Yeah. And then you made a ball around it, and I feel like this would dry out in like a couple days. I don't know. I don't think it would. I don't know. It's just water and sand. No, it's soap and it's cornstarch, so I don't think it would. But, I don't know. I'd be kind of curious to see if this like got hard. And then you could like give it to your kid and be like, See, look at this now. Look what I found at the beach. This Maybe there's like, a prize inside of it. This looks just like normal sand. Like normal sand. But then you just. Now it's a thing. <laughs> I so, was talking about something. 
This is pretty cool. You I think they've seen enough of it. You should definitely <laughs> try this at home. Really easy and cheap to make and lots of fun. So That's the thing. It's cheap. It's cheap. You you can pretty much make it with stuff like for free for yeah. the most part. Yeah. Or like stuff that you already paid for, you're going to need in the future, so. I mean, don't don't eat it. You probably die. But I mean, it's still cool to make. So. And be careful when you're getting sand from the beach. There could be dog poop in it. Yeah, or geese poop. Or geese poop. <laughs> Goose poop. Goose, Goose poop. Goose poop. Geese poop. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. This was fun. This was very fun. And the comment shot of the day goes to Courtney Hepp. She said, They used to have a spaghetti jelly bean that looked like the vomit jelly bean. Mistaking them was the last time I ever ate Harry Potter jelly oh, beans. Oh, that would be gross. <laughs> so clearly that was on the Harry Potter jelly beans challenge. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy they got rid of that. You know, when I pick this comment, I feel like I just talk about pointless shit. Like all the time. <laughs> Anyways... When I picked this comment, I was like, I'm not, I don't know if I'm happy that they got rid of that. Like, I kind of want to taste the spaghetti jelly bean. But at the same time, I you don't want to mistake, mistake that for... That puke was a bad jelly bean. Vomit is one of the worst. Yeah. Well, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. All. <laughs> the links are in the description. <laughs> <laughs>